I'm interested in life transitions right now. Those moments when you see change coming and it's about letting go of the life that you knew before, maybe finding a new path, maybe the path is already pretty clear, but you need to let go of what you knew before and you have to find a way to embrace the change in order to allow a new experience to unfold. And they can be experienced in so many ways. You can resist the change. You can be confused about the change. You can be inspired and empowered as you go for the change. So I'm very interested right now in what is the most empowered way how I can go through these transitions. And I have a couple that are going right now for me. My son was going to school and now I had all this time to do something else with myself. When he first started going, I had to adapt to the new routine. I had to let go of the comfy, sweet homeschooling life in which I could get up at any time of the day and I could decide what I wanted with my day. Now I had to drive him to a place. I had a routine. I had to pack a lunch. I had to do all these things. I had to spend more time in the car. Those things were not as comfortable. And so I had to change my mind about how I experienced that kind of stuff. And then I had to deal with myself. I had to let myself explore and figure out what was my place now in the world. It started to feel like homeschooling was no longer the thing that worked best for Joaquin and I. And I actually wanted to find a way to get new help in our lives but we were not quite there so it involved a bit of a stretch for both of us that one was interesting because it wasn't clear to me that Joaquin was ready for that experience yet so there was a lot of struggle on my part and it was only when I got more clear about what I was doing that I was able to move through that in a more empowered way and help him develop the tolerance he needed and the motivation he needed to take that leap from the safety of our home to a more expansive experience which was to be in school community with other people and start experiencing himself as a more independent person. I had been living in the sunrise bubble for four years and that was the environment I knew that was very nurturing for Joaquin. But we were both starting to feel like we wanted something new. And it took me a while to allow myself to be okay with the idea of not living that way anymore. Allowing myself to come out of that place and experience a new way of nurturing Joaquin and finding activities that were right for the stage where he was without experiencing guilt, without experiencing fear that by letting go of this one system that I was very comfortable with, that I had experience with, that had worked before, letting go of that, he was going to be okay anyway. He was going to develop all the skills that still were coming. I had to trust that letting go of that environment was going to give us a new experience in which these skills were going to develop in a different way. So all these moments to me involve that recognition that change needs to happen because we somehow have outgrown this system that we know. But there's fear sometimes and resistance because maybe we don't feel safe. Maybe we're not sure that we're ready for that change. Maybe the change involves us figuring out new things that we really don't know. Maybe the change involves letting go of things that are hard for us to think of leaving. Letting go of a lifestyle that we knew. Allowing ourselves to believe that the change actually is good, that it is time for a change, that we're actually gonna be better off in the new place than we are 
still wiggling into this tiny tight space. We don't always recognize that that's what happened. In my case, with this new finding of my place, it took me a while to realize that I was very comfortable in the safe space in which I was. I was a homeschooler, I was Joaquin's mom, I had learned so much and I was done. I knew my jam. But thinking about a new occupation, especially those that were interesting to me, meant I needed to stretch. And I didn't know it at the time, but I did not want to stretch. I didn't want to have to experience all the struggle of growing up again. So sometimes we have to create a lot of discomfort, a lot of pain, to give us the motivation to break that bubble again. Is that necessary? It just depends. And I'm interested in the question right now. What is the most empowered way to go through these moments? Or how can I be aware that this is what's happening and just let myself go and not resist it so much? For me, it took pain and uh, for a moment a bit of depression and then the most perfect thing that could have happened which was a pandemic <laughs> which interrupted life as we knew it and gave me the space and the opportunity to find the perfect support that I wasn't even looking for and as soon as I recognized it I took it and I allowed that presence to nurture me again, to let go of the fears I had, to let go of the stories I had built that were not allowing me to stretch again. Ultimately, I believe that any way how we live these transitions is perfect. Everything that happened is always part of the process for me. I would love it if they didn't take so much pain in my life anymore. So I'm interested in learning about them. So in this new work that I'm beginning as mentor of magical super moms, I would love to connect with those of you who recognize some of this may be happening in your lives because I would love through my work with you as I support you through this moment as we discover together what are the fears, what are the things that are making you resist the change or not recognize that a change needs to happen. As I support you through this process, I'm going to discover more about my own process. And together we're going to learn more about the way how we can go through these transitional waters, inspired, empowered, clear, fully equipped with tools that will allow us to tackle all the confusion and the doubt because what I find is that what these transitions are about is always a new way to expanding ourselves, a new way to grow bigger than we were before. And I wanna learn that for myself. I wanna become a master of that process. I want to become better at recognizing when it's happening and immediately going for the perspectives that support me best in going through that time and just letting go of what no longer fits and going for this new expansive way of being in my life.